still Pepsi is making a comeback. LA's tallest observation deck is open. And comedian and author Matt Moore is stopping by. This is What's Good. And I'm Justin Walter. And today we've got an awesome show, chock full of goodness for you. That's what this show is all about. It's dedicated to positivity, uplifting stories, do-gooders, world changers, good Samaritans. Yeah, and Amy, everything good. a big congrats to you. This show developed and came from your podcast, Tell Me Something Good. Yes, which you guys can find and listen to on Podbean and iTunes right now. So, so go. huge but congrats. Thank you. And yeah. you were one of my favorite guests and co-hosts. And now here you are on this couch with so me So excited to be here with you, Amy, and to talk about a lot of things that are good in the world. Absolutely. A lot of people aren't doing that, so let's do it right here. Yeah, so Justin, what's good with you? Well, a couple months ago, I won a trip to Wales, seven-day trip, and I extended it. I'm going to be going to Iceland and Wales in this fall, so I'm so excited. Iceland has been on my bucket list for years. Wow, Pumped. and you won a trip. You know won how many jealous people there are out there right now? I got lucky, finally. How did this happen? How did you <laughs> I win? go to networking events. I'm a travel blogger and writer, so I go to travel networking events, and the first one I went to, I won a trip, visit Britain, gave it away. I've never been to Europe, and this is going to be the first time I'm setting foot in Europe. That is so exciting. Europe is one of my favorite places to visit. I've gone there several times. My husband and I won a raffle once. So I went to Australia. There's a lot of winners right There's here. There's a lot of winners on the weekend. <laughs> but I do think when you put out good energy, good things come back. It's the law so, of attraction, right? The law right? of attraction. And you got to play to win. I, mine was a raffle. I, uh. I bought a bunch of raffle tickets, and I won. So. Good. So what's good with you, Amy? Awesome. What's good with me? I finally became a Sealy. Oh, wow. Legally. Legally. Okay. I've been married for almost... Three and a half years, and I finally changed my last name. Was it, it hard for you to do that legally? A lot of red tape. Yes. Yeah. It was a pain in the butt, but I did it. My husband's happy. But you can still tweet me and contact me at Amy Paprath because that's going to be my name professionally. So it doesn't really affect you guys, but, you know, just one of those cool yeah. little things that it's official. The government so now good. sees me as Amy Sealy. And I bet Drew is very happy. <laughs> my husband it. is very happy. <laughs> and also what I'm really excited about is Clear Pepsi, Crystal Pepsi, yes. making a comeback. Did you ever drink this in the 90s? I did not drink it, and I didn't even remember it existed oh my gosh. until you were raised. <laughs> about it. It was such a big deal to me because I love drinking Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Okay. And so when it came out clear, my mind was just blown, even though it's literally just like spray <laughs> with other flavoring. But I was so it was so into it. And then it went away like that because yeah. nobody liked it. And so now it's coming back. And I hope that they made it taste a little bit more like cola this time around. I don't drink a lot well, of Well, I will try it with you right here, and I'll give you my little taste test. Um, absolutely. We're going to do it. One thing that's clear also is <laughs> in downtown LA, Skyscape LA has opened. And it's an observation deck a 1,000 feet in the air on the U.S. Bank building. I heard about this. And there's also this. from the 70th floor to the 69th a glass slide that is clear so when you're going down the slide the videos have gone viral for it you're literally above the ground overlooking ah! the skyline in los angeles i haven't done it yet maybe you and i should go let's do it together do it. let's do it i done. have glasses with a camera we're gonna do it and record it done you have we're a gopro in. yeah done. we're done. doing this <laughs> that is gonna be a blast okay so let's talk about what's good around the world yeah so you know as a kid or you know as an adult have you ever lost anything that's been of importance to you I've really lost some things. Um, well, for instance, recently, uh, my husband broke a champagne flute. We bought a yeah. set of six of them on our honeymoon. They're beautiful. It's the one thing we kind of splurged on. It's okay. like a remembrance of our Italian honeymoon. So we broke one. We were cleaning out the garage. Uh, we're doing a garage sale. And I found the box that they were sent to us in. And there was an address on it and a little huh. blip about the company. So I went online, found the company, emailed them. They emailed me back within two hours. Oh, we're wow. getting a replacement glass. No way. For free. So Drew got off the hook for Drew breaking was off your the hook for breaking champagne, champagne glass. glasses. But it's such a cool That's thing. Like awesome. I just reached out and asked and said how much we love these glasses. We had such an amazing Great. honeymoon. It, something bad turned good. Well, yes. There's a story out there that's kind of going viral where it's a little kid lost his favorite stuffed animal plush elephant toy. And his parents actually told him that the elephant was traveling around the world. Aww. So a friend heard about this, put the story on Reddit, and then the Reddit community photoshopped a ton of photos of this stuffed animal traveling around the world. It's seen at the Great Wall of China, snorkeling in the Great Bear Reef, Mayan ruins all over the world. So this kid thinks that his stuffed animal, which is lost, who knows where it is, yeah. is actually experiencing the world. And it's kind of like Flat Stanley, yes. where he's actually then learning about all, all these, these places because of his stuffed animal traveling the world. Maybe I'll go visit them when he's older. I want to find this elephant traveling the world when I'm going awesome. away. That is awesome. That's a really cool thing for a community to come together like that and just nobody knows the this internet. kid. They don't 
don't know him, but they're no. like rising up to Reddit fans love it. Make him feel better. So good. That's cool. Okay, well, this is a not so great story turned okay. good story. I'm sure you guys all heard about the 13 year old Israeli American girl who was murdered in her house by a terrorist. Terrible, mm, terrible story. Awful. Um, well, Halal Yafa Ariel. Um, that was the girl's name. The good news is this family bottles and produces their own wine. Okay. So you can buy a bottle of this wine and actually help this family in a very tragic situation. So you can call this number, 972-052-473-2599. It's going to be right here. Call them, order some wine. I'm going to order some. And what are they doing with the profits? Are they doing a foundation? Are they doing it towards good? What are they yeah, doing? Yeah, they're going to be funneling these um, funds into helping bury their daughter okay. and to just pick up the pieces for what happened to the family. Wow. And I mean, it's just a way to support a family during a very tragic situation. Well, you know, making a big impact. Everyone's buzzing about the lottery. This <laughs> this year, I feel like it's the year of the lotto. You know, earlier in the year, the one point six billion dollar Powerball. The did one you time buy a ticket for that? In my life, I stood in line for a lottery ticket. I did. I did too. Buy two. Obviously, it didn't win. No, nope, it didn't work out <laughs> for me at all. But. Well, a lot of people are buzzing about how we're in the thirty fourth week of the Mega Millions. It's the longest consecutive rollover that's ever happened. Wow, so it's getting it's huge. Over five hundred million dollars. That's insane. Definitely got to get my tickets. I'm going to play again. <laughs> and with this, a lot of lotto stories are coming out. Yeah. One of them being a former winner from 2012 who won a huge jackpot, over $150 million after taxes in Missouri. He's actually building, or he built, a state-of-the-art firehouse in his community. That is He's cool. also got funds going for high school students and just a lot of positive philanthropic work yeah. that they're doing. Which I think if you're winning the lottery, please take a little chunk of it yeah. and do something like that. Yeah, what take would you do? Chunk. I would take a lot of it and do exactly that. I would try to open... You know, uh, Merv Griffin Child Help, it's a charity that I volunteer with. I've been buddies with a boy that lives there for a very long time, and I would love to be able to expand those services to more kids that need that. Or donate a huge chunk to the ALS Association and help find a cure yeah. for ALS because we're getting so close I and know. it just needs money. And let's be honest, you'd probably buy your own cruise ship and go uh, cruising heck, on the world. Yes, okay. I would take my family, <laughs> yeah. my entire family on a, I'd probably rent the whole ship and just yeah. like fill up every room with everybody I know yeah. and go on a around the world trip. Awesome. And maybe set up a Bring scholarship. Bring me with you. Bring me with you. Yes, you're coming. <laughs> Here's some other great news for traveling the world. Kay. Pasta does not make you fat. Yes. There was a study <laughs> that was done in Italy, of course. Okay, now I'm not believing it as much <laughs> that Italy is releasing a study about pasta. It loses a lot of credibility <laughs> as we go, but 23,000 people participated in the study. They found okay. that the people who ate pasta had a lower BMI, body mass index, yes. and a lower hip to waist ratio. Okay. So you have a little bit more of that curvaceous body going. <laughs> the theory is, is that these people are also eating more of a Mediterranean diet. Okay. So high in protein, high in fruits and vegetables, and low in processed sugar and that sort of thing. So, the, but here's the caveat. Three ounces of pasta. Okay. That's all you can eat, which is probably about the size That's of like a That's like a forkful like, <laughs> yeah. of my, my You get pasta. a bite. Yeah. And the study was done by Barilla Pasta. Okay, now. So, <laughs> so let's just justify that we enjoy eating pasta, so, so let's we're gonna, eat it. So we're going to eat it. Yeah. We're going to eat it because uh, carbonara is like my favorite thing in the whole world. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love it, Amy. Well, those are definitely some good stories, some bad stories, but also all of them have a good twist to them. They all have a good twist. You can always find the silver lining, and we're going to do just that in our next segment. Hey guys, we are so excited for our guest to join us today. He is a comedian. He is now an author. Please welcome Matt Moore. Yay! Hey. <laughs> you Thanks for having just me. published this book, Adult Stuff. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And it covers everything from putting together an IKEA dresser to how to take your girlfriend on a romantic getaway to getting a dog. So, life. Cover all the bases. Cover everything. How, how did, did you this start it? Uh, it started because uh, my. Uh, Writing partner and I both decided, uh, we argued one time about how New Year's Eve never meets your expectations. You <laughs> always think it's going to be the best night of your life and it always ends up being horrible. So we just started joking about that and we said like, yeah, it's like your birthday's like that too. <laughs> yeah, so is Christmas. And so is hiking. And yeah, so is, <laughs> so is your first job. You just realize you think everything's supposed to be great and it turns out to not be so much fun when you get into it because you thought, you thought it was, you, you expected it to be yeah. great. Huge. Yeah. yeah. So um, we said we should write a book about how to just Navigate. lower your expectations <laughs> so that everything's a little more fun and you don't you know, burn yourself out for no reason. So what's been some of the responses you've gotten from your readers? Uh, the biggest response that we've gotten so far is uh, I wish I would have had this book when I was 18 to 23 years old. I wish that I would have, I wish somebody would have told me, hey, relax, pump the brakes, yeah. slow down, enjoy the process. I always say yeah. if I could go back to college, I would 
do it so much differently and not stress about grades as much. I didn't stress at all about my grades. <laughs> I, I knew that nobody's checking my GPA right now. I'm fine. I had a blast, but I also did very well. Um, the book is great. So it's a great gift for teenagers, 18, 25, millennials. Right. Perfect. You can find it on Amazon, also um, Barnes & Noble, mm -hmm. and hopefully someday Urban Outfitters, because that's yeah. where you're going to make that big money. Mm -hmm. So pick it up for your friends, your family. Everybody needs a copy of adult stuff. Everybody. So it is time for my favorite segment, 60 Second Silver Lining. All right. This is a segment where you put 60 seconds on the clock. We try to find the silver lining to a not so great story. So this week's story, a magic trick went horribly wrong on a Polish TV show when the host had her hand slammed into a nail live on air. Watch this. <laughs> A magic trick didn't go quite as planned on live TV in Poland. During the Question for Breakfast morning show, a magician got host Marzena Rogalska to join along. That looks so painful. So you didn't get through the video? Oh you my knew God. it was going to happen. That's probably the 20th time I've watched that, and every time I watch it, it's still just it's, as it's painful. It's horrifying. Oh. So we're going to find the silver lining to this terrible story. We're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. Are you guys ready? Yes. I hope yes. you came armed with some jokes, because uh. here we go. So a magic trick went horribly wrong on Polish TV when a host slammed her hand into a nail live on air. But the good news is this magician makes Chris Angel look less douchey. <laughs> For everyone trying to wake up for work, if you were drowsy before you saw it, you were wide awake afterwards. <laughs> Ooh, well, the good news is she can say she nailed it. Oh, I have Ooh. one very similar. The good news is he can safely say he nailed her. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is this magician does possess the power to make his uh, confidence completely disappear. <laughs> All right, well, the good news is this was hands down the best viral video of the month. Boom. This was, uh, the good news is we're having a chance to redeem this right now. Oh no. These are three bags. One of them has a nail. Someone's getting plastered right now. Are you oh, ready? Gosh. Pick a bag, right. any bag. Right. Well, One, go. two, three. Oh! <laughs> that back. No nails, no nails. That just a thumbtack Something in, my in palm. Polish. I gotta go to the hospital. I gotta go. I gotta go. You guys finished this without me? Ha <laughs> just joking. Magic! It was magic. <laughs> oh thank my you God. so much for being on, Matt. That was awesome. Sure, thank you. You guys pick up his book. You can check him out on Twitter at More Experience. Do you want to say it? <laughs> <laughs> More Experience? Perfect. <laughs> and your website? TheMattMore.com. Check him out. He's a very, very funny guy. You want to keep up with what he's doing. We love hearing good news, and what we love even more than that is sharing good yes. news. So we both posted the question to our social media, what's good in your world? And we got some amazing responses. Do you want to go first? All right, I'll go first. We have Small Hall 01 <laughs> said, at Amy Paffrath, I'm expecting our child, our first child in January. That's hashtag incredible. Excited and hashtag scared. And Amy, when I read this, <laughs> I thought you were having a child. Stop me. Is that good news coming soon? A little while. We'll, we'll wait a little bit. We'll talk about there that later. There are mixed feelings. But congrats <laughs> to you, Small Hall Zero congrats, One. Congrats, Lisa. Congrats. You're the one so who's having exciting. a baby. We're excited for you. <laughs> um, John Sigerson, this was on Facebook. I like Facebook because you can have, you can write more. Mm -hmm. Best news is that a relative I never suspected included me in her will. Not life changing money, but more than a half a year's salary for me. I could not have been more blessed and thankful. That's wow. awesome, right? You get a little windfall like that that you're not expecting. Yes. Sad that you lost the relative, but the silver lining is. I mean, she if I get money. unexpected will money, I'm not going to complain about it, right? When you win that Mega Millions, yes. write a lot of people <laughs> in your will and leave well, them. Well, that's when people come out of the woodwork wanting yeah, to be in your will. Yeah, don't tell anybody you want All to right, Izzy Franca posted that she was offered a full-time job at BuzzFeed Video after her fellowship, and so congratulations. Congrats, Izzy. We love BuzzFeed. Awesome, yeah. And finally, my friend on Twitter, WakeChamp, at WakeChamp, said, moving from Arizona to Key West. Also, when my favorite celebrity you retweeted me and sent me a Facebook message. Ah, I'm glad that I could make your day. And Key West was an amazing place to move because that's where I got married. Love so it. Good, hope so you're good. loving Key West. Yes. Um, well, that's the end of our first show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I got to tell you something cool. Tell me. These are made out of kale. What? Yes. They're gold dip kale. <laughs> I'm wearing kale on my ears. So oh my god. If you don't like kale, the good news is you can wear it as jewelry. <laughs> now it's making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go grab a bite. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Go out, yes. change the world, and remember to always focus on what's good. Bye.